As students who are preparing for the USMLE exams, we are always looking on the internet or talking to people about resources. Just selecting what is the best resource which will work out the best for you can be very overwhelming. And that's why these are the seven underrated resources that I happened to stumble upon during the course of my preparation and they changed my life. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to be sharing my top 7 underrated resources for the USMLE exams. My first underrated resource and by far the most favorite is the USMLE blog, which is spelled as Y-O-U-S-M-L-E. And this is this blog is written by Alec Palmorton, who is an IM resident at Harvard University. He shares his advice on how to prepare for the USMLE exams and also shares the journey of some of his students who he is tutoring. So you get a very wholesome, objective idea of what other people are doing, what he did, what is his advice for medical students, as well as people who are preparing for the USMLE. And apart from that, he also has his own uh, Anki decks of flashcards where he tells the topic and then the answer is very systematic explaining the pathology and the management and everything that you need to know so it's just a very great resource it honestly helped me a lot the newsletters are for free every week and it was something that i looked forward to during my preparation so please do check it out i'll leave all the links in the description box below moving on to the second underrated resource and that is Anki flashcards. Now, I know a lot of you may go like, hey, Anki is all over the internet, we all use it. But you will be surprised by how many people don't know about it or don't use it. Just because the interface may seem a little difficult to navigate through in the beginning. So I made Anki flashcards on my own about the images and also the theory topics, as well as I got some shared Anki cards. And it was the best way of learning with space repetition and revising whatever I learned. Every day I would do a few flashcards and especially before my mock exams, that is NBMEs or the UWorld essays or even my real exam, the previous day you can't really do much. You cannot go through your first aid, you cannot completely finish UWorld, but what you can do is your flashcards. So I would highly recommend everyone to try them out, even if it seems a little difficult in the beginning. Moving on to my third underrated resource, and that is the Ben White blog, which is spelled as B-E-N-W-H-I-T-E. -E. He's a doctor and he shares his bit of advice for medical students and even graduates who are preparing for USMLE. One thing that I used from his blog was the explanation for free 120, because this uh, exam, which is three hours exam, you don't really have explanations when you give the exam. You just know if it's a right or wrong answer. So I really found that very helpful. And this may seem very trivial that, oh my God, do I have to follow a blog just for this one free 120 explanation? I guess, yeah, it's worth it because I had to look somewhere on the internet and it took me a while to like get legit good answers for free 120. So do check out the blog for that and even other things. So my fourth underrated resource is going to be Reddit. And I know it's the most favorite place to go for a lot of us. And I loved it because it was just so such honest opinion and experiences by so many people. Even when I needed to know in what order I should do my NBME exams or if my progression is good or just generally how USMLE process is going to be like, Reddit was my go-to resource. So if you're someone who does not know about it, do check it out. It's very easy to get drowned in that sea of knowledge and it can cause anxiety sometimes. So take it with a pinch of salt, deal it with caution, but do check it out. My fifth underrated resource is going to be YouTube. Now, I can't vouch enough for YouTube. There are amazing creators who give credible information about the USMLE process. But then there are also amazing teachers who teach you the USMLE topics in such simple and short videos. And they were my lifesavers. Some of them being Dirty Medicine, Randy Neal and Peter Gade. So all three of them had different uh, quirks of their own. So Dirty Medicine is really good for um, animated videos and pharmacology, um, also the cycles of biochemistry and all of that. Randy Neal Biostats is the thing that you need to do for Biostats. If you're not scoring well, then just watch Randy Neal Biostat videos and you are good to go. And Peter Gade, I sort of, 
uh, it's spelled as p-e-t-e-r and followed by g-a-y-e-d so in his videos what he did was it's quite old the videos but uh, that didn't matter so he actually explained first aid so he had like a page of first aid in front of him and he explained line by line what everything meant and this was really helpful for me for biochemistry the initial the dna transcription and all of that because i just didn't understand it and i'd forgotten it from my first year and also about pharmacology so um that enzyme kinetics and everything he actually explains it through first aid so it's just so good i cannot vouch enough for them do check out youtube channels they will save your life i promise so my sixth underrated resource is going to be the u world pdf of the tables um now when you open the u world question bank for each answer explanation or at least most of them you have a table and i can't tell you how important the table is every word in that table can be a different question so someone uh, who wanted to help medical students actually just uh, put all these tables together in a pdf format and that's just so helpful to revise if even if you don't have the pdf format or if it's not allowed then you can just start saving those table pdfs as flashcards and then keep revising them as and when you get time so that will be like your consolidated notes apart from first aid and it is really good because it covers at least 20 to 30 questions in just one table so my seventh and last underrated resource would be cram fighter and let me tell you this is not a sponsored video it's just something that i did and i found super helpful and i just want to vouch for the things that helped me so cram fighter is an app where you can make your own schedule and timetable and the best thing that i liked about it 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 just takes off the stress of calculating how much black backlog i have and how many questions then i'll have to do to cover up and all of that it just takes care of it you can schedule your off days you can schedule the days that you want to take a test and you can even keep rescheduling based on how much backlog you have i took it for a year uh, the whole subscription and it was 99 dollars and i think it was the best investment one of the best investments that i did so if you're someone for whom sticking to a timetable becomes really difficult and also planning and replanning it is just gets to you then do check out cramp fighter all right so that was a short but highly informative video because according to me these were the seven underrated resources that i happened to stumble upon and they really changed the course of my preparation so if you're someone who is preparing for the usmd exams either step one step two ck then do check out these resources i'm sure they'll be helpful and even if they're not, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will really help me invest into making better videos for all of you. Bye.